thank you so much for this wonderful honor and especially for the recognition of the field of single cell genomics. It's a really particular honor to be recognized together with Professor Atsushi Miyawaki for his cell of work on cell function and dynamics. And this is very special for me because I've always been captivated by cells and their inner workings ever since I was a first year graduate student. There are almost 40 trillion cells in our body. They all have this, roughly the same set of instructions in their DNA, but they're not all the same because they express different genes, they perform different functions, they form different molecular circuits. And I've always felt that this variation between the cells um, is really the way for us to decipher not just who they are and what kinds of cells we have, but also how they work. And so if you imagine cells like pieces of fruit, in the past what we could do is use the lab equivalent of a blender and generate the lab equivalent of a fruit smoothie. From this we learned about the average characteristics of a population of cells, but if there were any rare cells that were different, or if the cells just subtly different, differed from each other, we wouldn't be able to see this in the average. In the last few years, a new field arose of single cell genomics. And in our world in single cell genomics, we basically study the lab equivalent of the fruit salad. We can look at each individual cell and its characteristics. We can see the molecules that it expresses and from this try to understand the function that it performs. And so um, in this way, we can zoom into cells and look at them at very fine details, but we can also zoom out and look at an entire complex tissue and understand the different cells in it and how they interact with each other. The hope is that this would let us build real roadmaps of our body, both in health and in disease, in ways where we know where the genes that are important for disease actually act, um, the programs that they assemble into and that we might want to manipulate, how the cells affect each other in the tissue, and even using a patient's own tissue in order to direct the choice of therapies. In order to achieve this vision, together with my colleague Sarah Teichmann, we founded the International Human Cell Atlas Initiative. This is an initiative that involves scientists from all over the world, especially uh, students and trainees, who are all joined in, the, joined in the mission to create comprehensive reference maps of all human cells as a basis for both understanding health and for diagnosing, monitoring, and treating disease. I want to point out that many scientists from Japan participate in the Human Cell Atlas, but in particular, the Japanese scientists have really been at the forefront of the Human Cell Atlas from its in inception as active participants as, and as some of our foremost leaders. And in this, they're helping us gain a fuller picture of the diversity of human cells in biology. And just last year, Japan hosted the general meeting of the Human Cell Atlas. And so it's an especially wonderful honor for me to receive the KO Medical Prize in honor of the exciting rise of single cell genomics and the revolutions that it is driving in biomedicine.